and now we'll see how we can have uh, different dashboards published on Tableau server how we can schedule them and then how we can have uh, access to in individual dashboards so I've created one sample dashboard using some sample so superstore data which comes with Tableau now if you want to publish this dashboard on a server we'll just go to this server we'll publish this dashboard now I just I'll just log off and then again log off. Now once you go to server, once you publish, it will ask on which server you want to publish this particular dashboard. Right now I'm on the same system, so I'll publish it on local host server. Use the name admin. Now once you sign in, we have created two sites on this particular server. One is default, second is the dev site which we created. So we'll publish this dashboard on our default site. Once we click OK, we'll get a window which has in which project we want to publish this dashboard. So we'll publish it on default, or we can have this sample project there. So this project we created, and then we are publishing this dashboard on the sample project. Now the workbook name which we want is change it to sample dashboard. If we want to put some description, we can put the description here. If we want to add some tags, we can add some tags. Now in this particular dashboard we have different workbooks which are combined and created one dashboard. So this dashboard one, we are publishing this dashboard one. If we have multiple dashboards here, we'll get a list of different dashboards written here. And left side is permissions. So on server we can give permissions to individual dashboards. While publishing any dashboard on server, we can give access to individual users. So if if we see uh, this all users is having custom access on the sample dashboard which we are publishing if you want to add any user we can just add the user and give access so i'll give access to user one and access will be interactive <clears throat> now this user one is added in the list who has interactor access on this dashboard one sample dashboard now if we want to change any of this permissions uh, from this all users, so it is now having custom. So we can keep custom or we can change it to editor and then we'll click OK. Now we can add new users, we can give access to them, we can edit existing users access by using this view permission field. Then we have these show sheets as tabs so if you have multiple dashboards or multiple sheets in that particular dashboard we can use this option as show sheets as tabs and then we can publish this dashboard on server now whenever we connect tableau to different data sources we have two types of database connections one is live connection second is tableau data extract whenever we create a dashboard with tableau data extract so that is the offline data which we have. So if our background data, underlying data is changing, that will not directly change into Tableau data extract because we have extracted that particular data at some point of time. And then underlying database may get uh, changed because of some job processes right now. Now the extract which we have created, we want to refresh this one with respect to our uh, refresh data. So the underlying table is getting refreshed on every Saturday evening and now we want to refresh this dashboard on every Sunday morning uh, based on whatever data is refreshed in Saturday evening we have process the database. So there we have option of scheduling and authentication. So using this one we can schedule some of the dashboards. If you click on the scheduling and authentication, here you can see it is having extract schedule. Whenever we create extract we get this option of scheduling and authentication. In this extract schedule, right now the uh, extract which is created is a full refresh. So there are two types of refresh methods with extract. One is full refresh, second one is incremental refresh. So this is now full refresh extract. And we can define in this full refresh extract how we want to schedule it. What is the frequency of schedule? So it's the daily refresh, is it end of the month, Saturday night, or week? weekday early morning now these are the four options which are present on tableau server if we go back to tableau server and here we have schedule 
So for the extract refresh, we can see these four schedules are present, and this daily refresh is created by us. So if you want another refresh, which is which is maybe Tuesday refresh. So we want to refresh your dashboard on every Tuesday. So we'll have it as a Tuesday refresh, which is extract refresh with default priority 15. We can change it based on what is the criticality of the dashboard. One will be the highest priority and 100 will be the least priority. Exhibition we will keep it parallel and then we'll refresh this dashboard on weekly basis and every Tuesday at maybe 3 a.m. So this dashboard will be refreshed on every Tuesday at 3 a.m. Now we'll create this schedule. Now if we go back to the dashboard, if we go to the scheduling and authentication, right? So uh, I'll just uh, sign in again. So we'll get the updated refresh server there. So I'll just sign out and then we'll sign in again. scheduling and authentication and then here we have a Tuesday refresh which is created on server and then we are refreshing this dashboard on every Tuesday at 3 a.m. So we'll select this Tuesday refresh. So every Tuesday the dashboard which we are publishing will get refreshed and the data source which we are using is sample superstore data. So you can see here the data source is here and it is extracted. And authentication is right now no because the underlying data which we are using on this particular dashboard is Excel file. But if we connect to any of the databases like Oracle, SQL Server, if we connect to any of the table from these databases, we may need to put username and password to connect to that particular data source. So in Tableau Desktop, whenever we will connect to database, we need to put the server name and credential to connect to that particular database. Now this credentials will be used only with Tableau Desktop and once we publish a dashboard which is on a table from SQL Server or Oracle that will be and the dashboard will be getting all the data from these tables and then overall visualization will be created. Now once we publish this dashboard on server and if any user is accessing that particular dashboard the first screen that the user will get is credential for Tableau server once it goes to that particular dashboard the next one will be put credential for your database so that is an additional level security with database connections so if we want to give this dashboard to only those users who are having access to the database it will prompt one authentication window then user has to put the database credentials and then and then only the user will see the dashboard but and at some point, you all business users will not have access to database, so they'll not have database credentials. So in this case, we can embed the password with database connection. So if we connect to one of the table which is from uh, Oracle database or SQL Server database, here at the place of this authentication, the next option option will be embed password. So using this embed password, whatever credential we are using to connect to Tableau, uh, connect. Tableau 2 database will be used while publishing this dashboard on server and this credentials will be embedded directly with the dashboard. So next time any user is opening, any business user is opening this dashboard, the dashboard will not ask for database credentials because that they are already embedded. So we can have this credential embedded in authentication uh, section. And we can define what refresh cycle we want to have with this dashboard. We can just click OK. Now once we click OK, I'll just change this one again. We'll put it on sample project and the name will be sample dashboard. Now once we have defined this uh, schedule, we can just go and publish this dashboard on server. Okay, here also I change this custom into editor mode. And 
we added one more user which was user one with interactor data uh, interactor access okay now once we publish it on server it will start publishing the world dashboard and now it is published we can open it in browser window okay. and just close this one if we come to this browser window we can see in sample in sample folder we have sample dashboard which is published and this is the dashboard one so if you open up there we'll get the dashboard So this overall dashboard is interactive one and whatever we created on Tableau desktop we can publish it. Now next Tuesday at 3 a.m. this data source will automatically get refreshed and then we'll get the new view of this particular dashboard. Now if we go to schedules we can see here is one more schedule added which is Tuesday refresh. If you want to see how many tasks are using this Tuesday refresh we can see here is one task which is using Tuesday refresh. Now if we want to edit this one, we can just select this, go to actions and now you can edit settings. It will give us same window where we can edit these settings. Now in some cases, you may want to re refresh this particular dashboard now. It is scheduled maybe on Tuesday, but if we get one ad hoc request, which says we need to refresh this dashboard now, we have run now option. So this run now will help us to refresh this dashboard now irrespective of what time it is or what day it is. Now if we go to this task page, so in task earlier there was nothing, now we have refreshed one, now we have published one dashboard with a refresh schedule. So we can see there is one task added here which is on sample dashboard. The refresh type is full refresh. The schedule which we have is on Tuesday refresh. So this Tuesday refresh is from the schedules uh, tab. And then it is weekly refresh at 3 a.m. on Tuesday. Priority is 50. Last updated, it's not updated yet. So if we have this dashboard refreshed again, we'll see this last update will be next Tuesday's day at 3 a.m. So next update is on December 8, 2050. And this is how we can have custom schedules added and all the tasks on this particular server which are having this schedule defined will get the list of these uh, dashboards here.